Hoonigans. My name is Right now, you guys get 24 hours to be storytellers. We are currently ready. We are on the road. We have no idea where we're going. All right, we thought a good first course of action would be to head to the Moto IQ office and figure out plans from there. So we're gonna Vegas. head towards Vegas, right? Yeah, that's where we're gonna go. Okay, we're Hold heading on. towards Vegas. We're gonna take these off. We're gonna take these things off our heads. Cause let's face it, we can't oh, breathe. Since we were at the donut garage. Let's get some donuts. So we're going to Randy's Donuts. Oh yeah. Yeah. We made it. We made it. We're we over made here. it. Randy's Donuts. I wonder if they'll let us stand in the donut. Oh my gosh. Stay tuned. Donut. Would you want to crawl up there or something? Yes. Oh my gosh, if they'll let us. <laughs> but if we could blow up a car from the Fiat, that would be so awesome. We'll be going to an off-road track in uh, Vegas that we have no. A phone call that's to. what. No, they're calling yeah. our guys. What? We're calling the same people. This is not working. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Oh man! I think we should at least start doing burnouts right now. What better way to kick off the trip than with the little burnt rubber, right? I need to figure out where the traction control oh, is. So I tried doing a burnout and I failed. I tried probably like 32 times. I'm starting to question my ability as the burnout master. What do you think about my burnouts, dude? We need to get some food, that's for sure. Eat food, plan on no sleep, because we have too much stuff we want to do. And hopefully it all works out. And yeah. if it doesn't, we are gonna make it sick anyways. Gonna be sick. Totally red. So we just stopped in Carl's Jr. and we need to charge our phones. Our phones are dead. <laughs> Oh. oh, sweet. Boom. All right, perfect. Just got word we might be able to take the Fiat on a pole position go kart track indoor. Can you off road a Fiat? I just got asked. Yes, we can off road anything. We're going to off road it. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. I wonder what, what Sally and them are doing. She gangsta. I'm a gangsta. I'm a straight up G. The gangsta life is the life. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not a gangsta. <laughs> And we made it over here to the Fast and the Furious house. Ready? One, two, three. All right, so we just pulled pit up stop. for another pit stop. Uh, Sarah wants coffee. So, so far that's the plan. We're gonna go pole position. We're gonna hit uh, up four tomorrow. We're gonna maybe go clubbing. I go clubbing. In our Hoonigan gear, because that's how we get in the club, Sarah. Yeah. Trying to give our car away. <laughs> Dang it, Sarah. We're in Nevada. Just made it. Headed to pole position to do some laps in the Fiat, on the track, inside. And then we're gonna go to the Palms to party. It's gonna be sweet. 
Anyways, yeah, we're having a blast in our Fiat 124 Spider Abart. Look at this dirt lot over here. <laughs> He's setting up car lines. Now the car's all dirty. That's awesome. Casino Morongo. Yeah. Taking a photo to throw our competitors off. Not let them know what we're really up to. We're just gonna pretend like we're gonna spend the rest of the night here. And we're really not. We got big, big plans. We're gonna make probably most of the drive to Phoenix tonight and then focus on doing awesome stuff tomorrow. Howdy, partner. <laughs> We left the part now. We need to go to the hunting section. Oh, T-ball. Jumbo tennis? Are you king of the world? Pool noodles are only 94 cents. It doesn't even make sense not to get at least two. It's a flying disc. Cooler. It was nice knowing you. Oh, got a digit. But we're going with Pegasus. <laughs> Look at this. The trunk and everything is completely full with all of our stuff. So we gotta figure out how to fit absolutely everything on top of the Fiat with bungee cords that we got. All right, ready to play some Tetris? Ready to load. Let's get the bungees out. Put Pegasus back here. This right. looks so ratchet. Look at that, look at that. That's <laughs> like, yeah. it's at least a start. Yeah, there, the there, top. there. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Are they all in that little plastic piece? <laughs> That's the sketch part. Just like when it goes, they all go. Dude, this is crazy. Good job. Damn. Winning. That's good right there. We'll see how long we're winning. <laughs> you look good, baby girl. <laughs> Let's see if we can get on the road now. <laughs> all right, guys. So it is 8.40. And uh, we're starting to get hungry again. So we're gonna look for some grub. We're gonna look for some uh, Korean barbecue. We got way too much food. Yes, we totally can. Okay. And we're about to head back out on the road. We're gonna oh, find Vegas. some find some shenanigans to do. They're looking for us. Sally, where are we going? I'm going to Vegas. Why not? Let's just, you know what? It's Vegas, why not? We can always find stuff to do over there. So we didn't quite plan this out too well. Um, we have our helmets right here <laughs> on the back of the seat. We can't put the top up and we have no space in the trunks. So. Oh yeah, this whole trip's gonna be top down, so wish us luck and warmth. <laughs> you're totally good. Hold on, wait, let me look over here. Oh, you're good. Uh, it goes straight, put your wheels straight. Right here at Pole Position Raceway in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, Sarah and I are out here doing the pot laps. Watch this rocket. on a go-kart track. crushed it out there. She's adapting very well to a very small track. <laughs> <laughs> I got an awesome coach though. You know, I bring the dirt to her and she brings the street to me. <laughs> Just wait for tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. It's like almost 2.30 in the morning and now we're driving down this really creepy 
windy road in the middle of nowhere. That was it. We ended up looking online and I found this like abandoned speedway. It has like a drag strip. I think it has a track there, but like that is what I want to check out. And then we could do all these awesome epic games, make some cool content. So we're trying to get there. However, that's in Phoenix. So that's all the way, like way further away. Um, so we'll see if we make it. I'm so dead, so tired. All right, we've officially made it to Blythe. It is 4 a.m. We unpacked our beautifully packed Fiat, and now we repacked inside the car. Well, we go take a quick little power nap and uh, go adventure tomorrow. We will see you guys in the morning. We're in Las Vegas! And we won and didn't have to pay for anything. So, and have more on top of that. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're headed out. We're on to the next stop. All right. Beautiful pictures of the Fiat. Literally parked in the Gosh. middle of a, wa a crosswalk. But we so made it to Las Vegas. We got Vegas. the Las Vegas sign right here. We got Sally right here. Woo! Hey, we made it. We got Susie Swazilla. Now we're gonna find somewhere to go to sleep, and then we're gonna be up at seven. Say good night. Good night. So we just woke up. Yeah, we we thought we heard the alarm, but we knew we had to get our beauty rest. Morning! Hey. <laughs> no, we definitely got the farthest We're, than the yeah, other teams as they, they stopped so in Vegas. I know, everywhere we go, everyone's staring at us in this. Breaking necks. Good morning! It is uh, 7.35, so we're running a little late, but not that bad. We really didn't get any sleep. All right, so we are finally hitting the road. So yesterday we found a motor sports park, drag strip, really cool area that we're hoping still exists. We're hoping we can get in it. And basically our goal is once we get there, we're gonna challenge ourselves to a bunch of different car games that we make up. For the first one, what, like donuts on donuts? We have to yeah. eat donuts. While doing donuts. While doing donuts. Oh yeah, we're gonna be in Arizona. Woo! We made it to Arizona. We made it. I never thought this day would come. Susie and Sally here. Car. We we're just leaving Vegas. We are going to Phoenix, Arizona. However, we're gonna make a quick stop along the way and check out the Hoover Dam. Hey, look at that! Ah, that's awesome. There's water in the middle of the desert. been like, who is that? What car is that? That is cool. We're the Hoonigan girls. That's who we is. Woo! Yeah! Love it! Thank you guys! We've been doing all this awesome stuff, you know, Susie? Oh yeah. But what are the other girls doing? Just 
jump the Fiat off of that jump. Big thanks to Vegas Off-Road for bringing us out. It looks like we lost a fender liner. Huh. I don't know if you can hear that noise. Ah, uh, yeah. Did they say we're not allowed to um, damage the car? We didn't damage it, we customized it. We flared just... out fenders. Yeah, and we, we just flared them out. gave it a little toot, you know? Yep. But we just finished that four and uh, it was sick. Sarah taught me how to drive in the dirt. And we jumped the Fiat. We jumped it. Totally, like, we got air. So see you in Arizona. Later. So we're at this random travel store. We're gonna stop by, grab some donuts so we can eat donuts and do donuts while eating donuts. Do you think you could like take us to a place, like a dirt lot, where we could do some donuts? Um, yeah, I could probably find one. Okay. Like around here? Yes. You could take us? Yes. So we have a local that's gonna take us somewhere. Yes. We got some donuts, and we gotta do donuts while you're eating a donut. Performance. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shop. It's never clean. Oh man. Okay, so we finally secured the oh. Pegasus onto the car. We're gonna have some challenges getting into the car. We are ready to pick road trip. Fate is in that knot and that is definitely not a knot. Oh, our Pegasus! Stuck on the side of the road with a dead Pegasus now. Up before we get to the track. Yeah, we have to put gas in. How far away are we from Bondurant? Oh my gosh, we're gonna get there at 250. Oh, we haven't even filled up gas yet. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay. okay. So it's been freaking awesome. It has been awesome. And our Fiat is, is hanging on strong, even after catching some air. Yep. Okay, so check this out. One hour left, and we are an hour away. Challenge one, we are the uh, Hoonigans Wanted judging panel. We're gonna judge them over kind of three different types of criteria over really the next couple of challenges, but 
you know, the main goal is obviously we want someone who's fast out on track. It's going to be about times. Also their ability to listen and their, their ability to improve and work with a team because that's really important. In motor sports, it's not just about being fast anymore. It's right. you've got to have a personality. You have to be able to use social media. You have to be able to tell a story moreover. And you got to fit the attitude of the brand and, and who's winning it is. Yeah, because if you look at all of our athletes, all of our ambassadors, there's a kind of similar tone and attitude on everything that we do. And a big part of it's being able to tell a good story, being able to create good content that you guys want to watch. So that was the concept for challenge one, was here's some money, here are the keys to a car, here's a destination, 24 hours to get there. Make it happen. Make it happen. And they killed it. Yeah. Uh, all of them surprised us. I mean, we had no idea what these were gonna look like. We didn't tell them, they had no criteria as far as camera angle or what to shoot or when or where or how. They went out and did it on their own and they really impressed us. They were given a GoPro and they were also given a Sony point and shoot. Mm -hmm. And that was all they had. They were told to film everything themselves. So all that time-lapse stuff, all the car to car stuff you saw, they figured it out. That was the whole thing was we wanted them to think like filmmakers, think like content creators, because that's such a part of what they need to be these days. And all of them really killed it. So I want to start off with Colette and Athena because they had such big plans, I think, out of everyone. And sometimes timing just isn't on your side. And I feel like that was really what they kept running into. And then they were swinging for the fences thinking they were going to be able to get into a closed uh, motorsports facility. Yeah, but yeah, I appreciate yeah. it because I've done similar things myself. <laughs> right. They, they still they killed told it. the story. And even though it might not have worked, you actually got a great feeling of how their trip went. Even if the things that they attempted to do didn't work out. And then we have Team Bubbly, Susie and Sally. Who have never met <laughs> yeah, until which today. Is and you'd think that they were sisters. Definitely and, the most enthusiastic duo. Yes. And they did a really good job of bringing outside people into the storyline, which was really cool. Whether Stop it was at the dam. Yeah, went to Toretto's house and found some kids on bikes who knew about Hoonigan, knew who they were, included them in the video. All of that was Went Dino, to Randy's. Dino's the car. Yeah, Dino's the, the car. The yeah. They, they definitely checked a lot off. They had variety. Yeah, they, they had really, tons of really, variety. Really good. And they did the entire trip with the top down because they couldn't fit their helmets in the car and yes. get the top up. But something everyone did was use their resources. I yeah. mean, all of those girls called on the people that they knew. Team Sarah Michelle ended Which up Which brings us to Sarah and Michelle. Yes. Yeah. Home court advantage team, right. but also yeah, did the crazy Vegas, stuff. But they, they took the Fiat on an indoor kart track. Which was sick. Then took it on the off-road experience, Boar's off-road experience. And jumped it. Yeah. And jumped it. <laughs> In the end, all three of the teams really did a killer job. Like we mentioned, we had no idea what type of content we would get out of this. We didn't even know if it would be usable. And it turned out to be an entire episode that we yeah. thought was pretty rad. And the first part of this, for the first challenge, there wasn't really going to ever be a winner or a loser. It was more of just a pass-fail situation. We thought this was going to be the first opportunity for us to really kind of, you know... Just gauge them yeah. as... as yeah, thin the herd of who was there. Because if they just... If they could be yeah. fast but not actually be able to tell a story or fit our cut. personality, and they would have gotten cut. But they all did a great job, so they all moved forward to the next challenge. That doesn't mean we don't want to hear you tell us who you think uh, told the best story. So comment below, let us know who told the best story, who's your favorites right now, and make sure next week you turn in for the uh, second part of Hoonigan's Wanted, where the girls actually get out on track and show us what they can do.